When Jean-Claude Juncker took over the reins of the EU Commission back in 2014, he promised that this would be the Commission of the Last Chance Saloon, that either Europe would reclaim its values to champion the will of the people, or the bloc would falter. But major crises during his tenure, from the economic downturn to migration and terrorism, have created a vacuum for populist extremists and nationalists all across the bloc. So with a 12-month countdown on his presidency, would he set out a bold direction in his final State of the Union address? External borders must be better protected. We propose an additional 10,000 European border guards by 2020, and we are proposing to accelerate the return of irregular migrants. Juncker also detailed plans to create a free trade agreement with Africa turning the historical relationship away from charity to real partnership. And then on Brexit, he offered some support to embattled UK Prime Minister Theresa May. After the 29th of March 2019, the United Kingdom will never be an ordinary third country for us. The United Kingdom will always be a very close neighbour and partner in political economic and security terms. But was this the speech MEPs had uh, come to hear? My God, we are living in two different worlds. I, I find it so terrifying that somebody gives us here lessons about unity in Europe and then trying with his government to do against the rule of law as he has forgotten what Europe was between the two world wars. One stark victory uh, Juncker left off John the table. The deal he secured with European US Union President East. Donald Trump over the man summer that, that averted well. a looming EU-US trade war. Man. A Brussels-based analyst sees why. I guess the reason why he did that is that I mean, this speech, of course, will also be listened to in, in Washington. And I guess the one thing you don't want is you don't want to give a triumphant speech so I won over, over Donald Trump. And in Strasbourg on Wednesday, MEPs triggered a motion against Hungary for violating core EU values for its crackdown on basic freedoms and rule of law. Sanctions now rest in the hands of member states. Will they stand up for the democracy that the EU was built on? Mariam Zaidi, CGTN, Brussels.